sure you're up for this? I'd keep putting it off forever. Do you want me to go in with you? Tie it together? Yeah. That'd be weird. Weirder. Okay. You're doing the right thing. I know. Good luck. I'll be here. Hi, love. It's me. So there's no easy way to say this, so I'm just going to come out with it. I've met someone. At first, I just wanted someone to talk to. But lately, I've started to develop feelings for her. And I've been upfront about my situation. About you. I, I can't keep coming in here and uh, spraying your perfume about the place and trying to read aloud to you like, as if you're just going to wake up and we can pick things up where we left off. Are you alright? Yes! Sorry. Nothing's happened yet. But we did kiss the other night and I felt really horrible when I thought about you in here all alone that I wanted to come in and tell you. None of this changes how I feel about you. Ruth isn't asking for that, but we came here today. She's outside. I guess to ask for your blessing. Anyway, I'm driving up to your parents later to... Laura. Laura, can you hear me? Nurse! Nurse! Nurse, come quick! Oh my god, Laura, can you hear me? What happened? I was talking to her and her heart monitor thing kicked up a notch and she squeezed my hand. This is incredible. I've never seen this before. What's going on? She's coming around. Are you sure? Uh, no, of, of course not. Uh. Well, don't get too excited. It could be a false positive. The doctor is on his way, we'll know more then. Okay. How much of that would you say she heard? 